Welcome back my DIY nomads. We're back again for another video today. We are going to be tackling Ben's Luton. Um, it's now Saturday. We've got, I've got about, oh god the exposure. Uh, I've got about four hours before I need to get out of here. So what we're going to try and do is get the box on the back of the Luton um, and make this a Luton again. You know, Ben stripped back all the rusty spots. He's painted with red oxide primer, and everywhere that won't be accessible, he's also painted with this sort of amazing exterior, like hard wearing black paint. Um, and so we're just going to marry the two up together now, so we can actually get the looting box out of the workshop and free up some space. <laughs> Box is on, we're super stoked with the results. Um, yeah, it's it's crazy, like Ben put so much work into this van now. Um, but it's gonna be an absolute stunner. Once we get the flooring on, then we can start the real conversion. Um, but it's just so nice to now have like fresh bolts, everything's painted, this is gonna last a long time now, this sort of like subframe, or the steel, the chassis, all that sort of bits and bobs. And you know, it's, it's just a nice sort of feeling to know that um, we're not going to be putting all this effort into a conversion that's sat on something that's already rotting. Right, I am back at the workshop. From now on, I will be going in sort of basically daily back to the workshop. I'm going to like work myself in. Ben has been here the, uh, the majority of the time because he's been working on the Luton. But currently there's a bunch of jobs piling up at the moment and we're going to, I've come to the unit, we're going to get those work, that work done. Me and Ben are going to keep a safe distance, but you know, we're still going to use the space. Anyway, I wanted to give you guys a quick update on Ben's Luton because he has come a long, long way since the last time you saw it. So here we are, we've got flooring down and insulated, walls are insulated, window areas are sort of, you know, uh, framed out window over there as well I'll show you in a sec we've even got Ben even has got a little area for a, like a toilet access from the outside and so really has come a long way there's now the wooden uh, the wooden beams across the roof that's basically the top of those is where the the, the actual next roof is going to be because we're going to remove the fiberglass roof and I'll show you over there over there as well the front is coming off and being replaced so a decent sized window so we've got um, 45, well, 450 by 450 mil window there, and then, and then this window is basically two of those windows from over there stacked on top of each other. So it's 450 by 900. If you've been following me on Instagram as well, you would have seen me put up a picture in relation to what this is. Basically, Ben has doubled up, doubled up these uh, these beams, and he's extended it past here, past this uh, front, which I'll show you in a second using a cantilever using a cantilever system with aluminium extrusion and up there is going to be our double bed area i say our this is ben's van it's going to be the double bed area so this is the uh this is the outside part so this front will come off be extended up to here and that'll be the bed area now obviously we have missed out some filming in regards getting from where it was before that where i showed you guys to here but ben did actually film some stuff while he was here and I was away and uh, I'll put those clips up now. Welcome back my DIY nomads. <laughs> so I've done all the insulation and I've left out where I'm going to put windows. That's where the toilet waste access is going to be. Another window there. And hopefully today I'm going to get my aluminium extrusion so I can extend the front of the cab. So I'll take all that out, that fiberglass. I'm going to build the roof 
underneath the existing fiberglass roof and when that's built in place I can then take the fiberglass off and these metal rails. So I've cut this top hat profile section out because that's going to be a window. And the same over here. And also put the aluminium extrusion in and I've bolted it in. I used a um, bolt riveter, it's like a big um, riveter but it puts a threaded bit in so you can put bolts in which is really cool and that's extending out and there we go so that's how much I'm extending it by so I can fit a full bed a double bed up there super strong I can hang on it there's no movement which is cool um, I had a leak I found it I found it um, on both sides so I made this plate and put some new rivets in sealed it in I've got the aluminium extrusion in on both sides which is cantilevered out another 600mm from the front and I've planted these timbers on so the actual the, the side of the box was actually bellowing bellying out um, on both sides at roughly 30 mil more than it was supposed to so now I've put this timber in and bolt it through the timber into the aluminium and I've pulled it in so now it's gone back to where it would have been originally so now I will put the nuts on, nuts and washers and I will get the other timbers in to create the floor and I will cut the bottom of that fiberglass out so I can put my timbers in this way you always go the shorter way A little update I've put down my flooring I've used these LVT luxury vinyl tiles which is glue down um, you put down the, the adhesive and then let it go tacky and then just put some pressure on the tiles and then you get this nice wood effect I've also got my joists in place I glue and nail these together and then use a big bracket with a bolt through it to give it some strength. 